In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. Let's call to mind our faults, failings, and sins. <clears throat> and in our sacred, solemn silence, we cry out, Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. <clears throat> Let us pray. Impart to us, O Lord, in kindness, the filial devotion with which the Holy Brothers venerated so devoutly the Mother of God, and lead your people to yourself. Through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the Holy Ones according to God's will. We know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called and those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Responsorial Psalm. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me, let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. I will, I will bless, bless the Lord at all times. times. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will, I will bless, bless the Lord, Lord at all times. times. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. My friends, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter said to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that have followed me in the new age. When the Son of Man is seated at the right hand in his glory, you yourselves will sit and judge the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up brother or sister, or mother or father or children or lands for the sake of my name, will receive a hundred times more and inherit eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Today the church celebrates the Feast of the Seven Servites. This was a group of men in the 13th century basically got together and prayed, and from that they established a small community of lay people. The future of the church is not standing here talking to you. The future of the church is sitting in a pew, 
more and more the laity will be taking um, even greater roles in the church, and we see that in 2030. It's men like the Servites who did this and changed the world. You can do the same. Please stand. We gather together our needs and give them to God, first by praying for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and his needs. We pray to the Lord. We pray for us, for the laity who can take leads in the church like never before. We pray to the Lord. For those who will travel this day, that God will take them to and return them from their destinations safely. We pray to the Lord. For the sick, the infirmed, and the hospitalized, that they may feel the healing touch of God. We pray to the Lord. For all those of our family and friends who have died, and today we especially remember Mark Bergamo, for whom this liturgy is offered, we pray to the Lord. And finally, for those private needs we hold within the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Father God, these are our needs today. Tomorrow there will be others. We ask you to hear and answer them all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness. We have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Most merciful God, who are pleased to create in your servants the new image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like them, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that their saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayer sustains us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things, and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, 
a pure sacrifice may be offered to the glory of your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his friends, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper ended, he took the chalice, and once again giving thanks, gave the chalice to those there with him, and said to them, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy, and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by his body and blood, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all clergy, religious, and laity. Be pleased, may this sacrifice, okay, and the order of bishops and all your own, I apologize. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your friends, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you all. Thank you. Let's share that peace. Peace, everyone. Thank you. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, we pray, O Lord, 
Lead us always in your love, and following the example of your saints, bring us to fulfill the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Amen. Enjoy your day.